So, so this is actually one of the few reviews I've been really looking forward to doing because even as characters actually interesting whenever you look at it because we don't know really you know anything about her and we look at her you know compared to Zenobia which we can really you know compare and contrast the two which I think you more so have to contrast these two characters because we look at Zenobia and it looks as if she was just born and raised in the church from the very beginning. We look at Edenia's character and we know that she wasn't born and raised in the church, but they were a really religious family that always went to church quite a lot. Issei states that when they're looking at some of the old past photos. And the thing with her is we see that Edenia does have this life, you know, liveliness, outgoingness. She understands society as to where, you know, compared to Zenobia, she most definitely does not. Zenobia, duh. she's never even, you know, been able to do recreational activity as to where... Eating that fully looks like she has been. And, you know, it make, does make you ask the what what happened. Why did they move wherever they did? You say did state they moved, like, out of the country or something like that. What happened there? And why, most importantly, you know? Why did they move? You know, they're already re really religious. Was it because of the Holy Swords again? Did they find out, oh, hey, she can use one in the church, you know, Came, you know, came in contact with her? Because whenever you look at the church, you probably don't know what the church truly is until you are summoned upon, if, you know, unless you are recognized as someone who can help the church. So that probably makes a lot of sense right there in that regard, that they're just normal church dwellers until they, you know, got noticed because their daughter could use the Holy Sword. But how did they find that out? I can't remember exactly how. I don't think they ever gave us, like, you know, like, context on the new generation of Holy Sword users. I'm not, I mean, outside of Zenobia, who was just a natural user, I don't know if Enuna is or not. I can't remember. Don't quote me on that. Don't rest me on that either, because, hey, I watch a lot of shows. But, um, other than that, you gotta ask, okay, who are the parents? You know, why did the parents decide to go with it? The who and why? Um, and that's what we don't, don't know. I know we're supposed to meet, eventually, you know, Zenobia's mom. Um, I don't know about eating this. That's something that's really, you know, I really am interested in seeing. And I wish I could just, like, I guess dive into eating this. Like, she, she seems so, like, basic. But, I mean... I just want to, you know, get characterization for her character. That's something that I do find interesting and how, like, her what what is her take on the whole thing? I think it is just that she praises the Lord. I mean, she, we kind of see that. I think that's kind of obvious. So I don't really want to know what her take is on, you know, I guess becoming a Holy Sword user specifically. Now she's an angel. But I don't know. I'm just interested in her parents. That her parents, are they already angels? Do they work for Michael already? I mean, it just... It makes you wonder because clearly Zenobia's mom has to, but she's never mentioned her parents before, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe they do know, maybe they don't know. I don't know, but that's just, I just think it's interesting looking at Edenia's character from that perspective. She seems really basic, but I mean, there's a couple. Like Issei seems really basic, but he has a couple layers to him actually. We get to see that, and you know, through his characterization, through some of his development per se, and you know, I guess through his outward monologuing per se, when he's just kind of like talking to himself or just talking to his inner self. I mean, we see that in season three when he's starting to rise vice about how he is afraid to show any emotion towards the girls outside of just seeing them as, I guess, pieces of meat per se, right? Because he's been burnt before and he doesn't want to be burnt again because of, you know, Rainier. So, I just want to, you know, delve into her character a little bit more. I think that would be really cool. I'm excited to see what's going on there, maybe in this next season. Because her, her and Zenova are supposed to get that screen time. I think also Ross Vice So, yeah, what do you guys think of that, guys? Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, X25. See you guys next time. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys.